Coming up on Footy Feed Year in Review, playing hurt. The dusty drama that rocked Richmond's flag defence as injuries throw curveballs across the AFL all season long. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Footy Feed Year in Review. Matt, unfortunately injuries are a massive part of our game. Yeah, they are. Let's talk about them. Mitch Cleary is here along with Nick Bowen. I'm Matt Thompson. This is Nat Edwards. And let's start with probably for us here at afl.com.au, the biggest injury story was not one that you'd necessarily expect, Mitch. It was Dustin Martin and that mishap at training that uh, got the footy world's attention. Yeah, seven days prior to that prelim, we spotted him down with the cameras at Punt Road, not training. He went off the track early for a main session. It was a two-hour session, map simulation. He wasn't part of it. Then the build-up all that week to the prelim, the Tigers denied it. And Neil Baum, Damien Hardwick said there was nothing in it. And as the game got closer, they finally admitted there was a bit of truth to it. Funny First five minutes of the prelim... <laughs> Dusty can't get off the ground and he probably plays below his best in the Tigers. Well below his brilliant. best. Yeah, yeah, it was a big one. But then again, look what the Eagles had to put up with, Tomo. Yeah. They lost probably one of their best players, Nick Natanui, halfway through the season to another ACL. I hate seeing those ones. You always worry how they're going to come back from that second ACL. Jake Lever in the same boat this year again. And of course, the worst one of all, Alex Johnson, with I think was it his sixth, something like that. Yeah, I mean, no that's, shots that's, with the Sydney players as he walked off the ground pretty much ending his AFL career was... Uh, he knew straight away, didn't he? Yeah. And just one game after his comeback, and the, just the, the fantastic scenes that we'd seen there, you know, just basically washed away a week later. It was very sad. And now we talk about ACLs, and we already know that going into 2019, Sam Doherty from the Blues just I elevated know. to the co-captaincy, mm. and he's not going to be able to go Yeah, again. absolutely devastating for him as well. Nick, I wanted to talk to you about um, Jeremy McGovern as well in yes. that grand final, and we know that there's so many stories leading into a grand final, but there was a huge cloud over him. Yeah, he copped a really big knock from Christian Petrarca in the preliminary final, and you know everyone knew he was sore. There was speculation about broken ribs. That was right. And he certainly suffered in internal bleeding as well. So uh, did a remarkable job to, to carry that into the game. And one of the Eagles' best performances as well. Almost didn't take part in the grand final parade as well. Exactly right. So you just don't see the Eagles winning that game without him there. So a, a really brave effort to carry those injuries. I reckon, look, it's not nice to talk about, but almost the most sickening injury vision of the year was Tim Broomhead. Yeah. yeah. We were there at the MCG yeah, that horrible, day, Nick, horrible. and uh, Tim Broomhead wrapped his leg around the post going in for an open goal. And <sighs> exciting young player for the, for the Pies. It, uh, he gets another contract for 2019, which is fantastic. The same day, Tom Scully breaks his ankle. And it's a, an injury. a sickening one too, yeah. wasn't it? And kept him out for the, the rest of the year. And, and also, I think there's, there's really genuine queries about how... What, what, what sort of shape that ankle's in going yeah. forward. And to a lesser extent, the same day, Darcy Moore pinged his hamstring, and that was an injury that carried on for the duration of the season and sort of missed the grand Ab final. Absolute carnage there, mate, wasn't yeah. it? Tony Gregg would have had a field day with that one. And there was another shocking incident later on in the season, and that was Dylan Robertson, the St Kilda defender. Now, he just collapsed in the middle of a game on the ground behind play. That was just absolutely scary. Very scary when you don't know what, why something's happened, yeah. isn't it? There's been no contact or whatever, and the heart condition sort of missed the rest of the year. You've got to think that there's queries over how he sort of comes back. We're all, I think the Saints are obviously hopeful that yeah. he can, but, um, yeah, you, you certainly don't take any risks with those sort of conditions. Adelaide's soft tissue injuries obviously were part of the conversation during the year as well. And what about Joe Danaher at Essendon? This is a massive story for mine. At the start of the year, the Bombers played him through a lot of carnage because he played a lot of minutes in the start of that year. They said that it was an injury that they knew about, kept playing him. I think he backed up from Anzac Day and, and yeah. kept playing, missed the rest of the season. And as we speak in pre-season, still yet to start training with the main group, so one for the Bombers to keep monitoring. Oh, yeah, and such an important player. They've got to get him back fit. All right, we'll be back with another Year in Review episode soon. Thank you for watching. This is afl.com.au and the AFL Live app. Hope you're having a good holiday.